space. These are the only five stretches you'll need. So grab some space and get ready to feel really yummy. Our first one is a downward facing dog. So we're gonna come down to our hands and knees, shoulders over your wrists, tuck your toes back, and then press all the way up. So hips is nice and high. You can walk your feet in a little bit closer. You're gonna feel a nice stretch in the calves and the hamstrings, upper back, even a lower back release right here. So if you wanna to try to press, uh, walk your, lift your heels up, walk your feet a little bit closer, and then press those heels down. Big old stretch. And then drop down to your knees and release. You can always feel free to take a child's pose after that. It's a nice compliment to a downward facing dog. Our second stretch is gonna be our low lunge. This one is gonna really target the iliopsoas, and that's gonna be the muscle that actually helps you do a lot of your crunching work, but actually it just lifts the leg as well. So anytime you're gonna be lunging, squatting, running, doing crunches, doing leg lifts, it gets worked a lot. So from the front, you wanna be in a kneeling position right in line with your hip. When you look down, I shouldn't see my foot, so I'm gonna tuck that foot under, make sure it's tucked right behind my bottom knee, and then I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under. So we don't wanna be in an arched back, we don't wanna be in neutral spine, we actually wanna curl our tailbone under and then lift the same side arm up as our knee on the floor. When I lift up and reach over to the right, I actually get to lengthen out to its fullest, beyond its fullest extent. That's reverse mechanics right here, right? So if our muscle stretches and crunches forward, we wanna actually extend it backwards to get a full stretch. So make sure you're breathing through that one and do both sides. And if the, if the floor is not enough uh, cushion, put something, a nice towel underneath your knee so you have cushion for that knee too. That way you'll be able to stay in it a little bit longer. It takes a little bit of time. All right, our third drill is gonna be our lying piriformis. So I'm gonna be flat on my back. This is gonna target the hips and the glutes. So I'm gonna cross my right foot over my left and then I'm gonna lift it up. Make sure it's not your foot on your, on your thigh. You wanna actually get your foot across so your ankle is over your thigh. And then you'll pull your knee up and the further your bottom leg comes in, the deeper the stretch gets. So we're getting a right leg, whatever leg is actually crossed. Thread your hands underneath, lift your head up, deep breath in, exhale, lower down. And now what I love to do is use my right elbow to actually push that right knee open gently and pull in. And you can hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds and then switch sides, okay? So muscles need oxygen to actually release, so don't forget to breathe. Holding your breath will only prevent you from actually getting the full benefit of any of these stretches. Our next stretch is gonna be our lying spinal twist. This is great for the lumbar spine and even the upper back too a little bit. We wanna keep our palms flat on the floor, knees over your hips, and try to keep your knees together and feet together the whole time. So our head doesn't move, but our knees are gonna to drop to the right and to the left keeping your shoulders down. Try not to let this happen. So shoulders down and lift up. Now, if you have a really tight lower back, then you can always place two yoga blocks on either side of you. And then you'd stop and rest when they tap them. That way you don't have the weight of your knees taking your shoulders off the floor, okay? So again, maybe 30 seconds should be good. Maybe even a little bit more, but pause in between. You can repeat any of these drills as well. Our final drill, guys, is gonna be our posterior capsule stretch. So that's actually gonna be right in the back of your shoulder, posterior delt right here. We wanna start by laying down, and uh, you can even just bring your knees up in line with your hips, that way you have a good support system down here. I'm gonna bring my elbow in line with my shoulder. I'm gonna make a fist. So I'm gonna take my hand over the top of my fist, and then gently, being the key word, rotate that arm down. There's gonna be a point where you feel resistance and then back off a little bit. And then repeat on the other side. All right, so those are the only five stretches you need. You get a little bit of everything for your whole body in just those five stretches. Enjoy. Hi, this is Jillian Michaels and you are with Shape.com.